everybody, this is John Bane. I want to welcome you to Grounded. Hopefully you guys are doing pretty good today. I'm doing good myself. Don't want to forget to mind you all to hit the subscribe button, the notification bell, so you can be here when stuff happens, because here we are, back in our house and Grounded. And uh, I've been really busy, been super duper busy. Uh, we have been streaming this too. Uh, not this game, I play a separate game for Twitch, uh, but on Twitch, uh, we've been busy on that as well, just playing it there and here. And um, yeah, and also, if you guys are new too, don't forget to check out the playlist too of, the, of this series, and there might be other series in the cards, and then also at the end screen too, there's that, in case you wanted to see more content on Grounded. If you've missed the previous episodes, that will get you get you in the right spot. But anyway, we here, been busy getting stuff done. Um, I've been doing some experiments on the stream and also a little bit here. So just let me show you. Got a couple of those chests put up now. We got chest up. I put the markers on it. You can go to customize marker, put your marker there in case you didn't know. Um, also, I've done grinding on mats. We have, I went and got acorns. I found, I've got a place I want to show you that I got a lot of sap from. That might be an interesting building place too. Uh, as you can see, I got a crap ton of fiber, um, acorn stuffs. Also, been uh, that place that has sap had a good amount of mites. Um, I had some s soldier ants spawn somewhere, and uh, I actually ended up killing them and got some soldier ants, uh, the mandibles from them. Uh, it was just during grinding. I didn't feel like it was that big of a thing. I'll, sh I'll show you where the spot was. It's actually, you know, we've been there many, many times. So, and then I went and got thistles, and then also we did a little bit more. Little stuff. Um, I put up some walls across the bottom. The gnats kept getting inside here, so I put up walls to keep them from coming in. And you know, they only need to do the sides, but it. it oh, there's a. How'd you? What? Okay. Um, it, it, but it didn't look right without doing it, and I could only put one lower here. I wish I could put them across, but it won't let me snap here. Also, we've got some weed stems. That's a good amount, but also. We've got some weed stems. Yes, this is a different pile. Um, this this grass just grew up through in the middle of here. So we have weed stems in here, weed stems over there. Um, I got tired of them being all like just flopping around everywhere. It looked really messy, so I did that to organize it. Also, I made some grass bins. So I've got two grass bins here now on the side that I've I, I've got them loaded up with planks. It works so much better for me. I do for those of you that don't even watch the video and just comment and say stuff. I don't like the the storage op options for the planks and the uh, the stems because you for the amount of space they take up you can't put that much grass on it or or stems you you can't this this takes up actually uh, the same amount of space pretty much as the grass plank one and the only thing it takes up more of is height and um, you can put a heck of a lot more in here I mean like seriously I don't know if you know if I want to do this or not let's 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 see if it all falls out like that's completely filled. Like it's and there, it's not just it's just it's just slam full. Ooh. <laughs> and so is this one. This one is even more filled. Let's see if this one opens falls out. It my, oh okay. And this one's completely filled too. So we this I feel like this is the best storage option at least for the grass. Uh, the the stems maybe the uh the storage. Whoa wow. The stems maybe for the storage thing. But anyway, that got done. That's up there. So I felt like this actually looks adds some character to the build too. So it's not just some thing up there. Um, also, oh, we had something interesting happen. Um, is it back or is it gone for good? It looks like it's gone. Okay, you see how this area is really cleared out here? Um, we I actually had an orb weaver come over here and just stand on the spot right here over here. It was standing like right here for like a few days. It just hung out here, did nothing else. Oh, I need to get water and I get food. Actually, we have some food and I have drinking drink. Well, we're doing an episode, but I'll still drink it. We'll, we'll go ahead and, and lavish up a little bit here and go ahead and hit this up. There we go. Anyway, um, hello, Mr. Weevil. I love your floppy nose. Um, it was standing here for like maybe four or five days while I was gathering and stuff. Then the next day, it was gone, and this is where the soldier ants were, and I completed my quest. I had, there were four of them here, one like left, and I killed the other three by getting them on this thing, and then just being we're just far enough away and just spearing them, get, pick up the spears, throw it back at it. It wasn't that bad. The next day, I come back and look over here. The orb weaver's back, but there were spider webs everywhere, and it was like it lived, moved in. Like, it moved in. I was like, oh, this is going to be cool. I can't wait to show you guys. It's dangerous, too. I was like, wow. And, um... Then the next day, which was yesterday in the game, it was gone. So it's there's like transient populations that happen and random events that happen. That is, that's absolutely amazing. 
I mean, it'd suck to have it right near where our, our house is at and stuff like that, but I thought it was so cool. I'm not lying. There were, like, spider webs up, and it was, like, like walking around the area like it was his, because it pretty much was. It's, uh, I'm, I'm, this is mine now. Oh, there it is! Uh, did it choose a new home? Are there, the, uh, put up a spider web. See that? See that? See that? It was, let's put up spider webs again. Okay, so it is back. <gasps> oh, God. Is that, is that lootable? No. Whole, oh, oh, it's back again. It's back over there. Look at that. It did it. See? I'm not crazy well about that. I think it's pretty cool, but I'm not like you know, you know, kind of level about that. Um, wow. Okay, so okay, but it's still here. That's crazy to go visit somewhere and come back. Like, that's wild, man. Like that was never here. Like this is just now started to happen. Like it's that's insane. I love it. We have a neighbor pretty cranky neighbor but i guess he goes on business trips all the time i'd be kind of cranky too if i was going on business trips all the time yeah okay all right so there that's not i'm not there you go cool <laughs> all right i'm gonna grab this because i don't like leaving stuff laying around everywhere i try to clean up behind myself like there's that too i missed that one um but yeah so we got some uh improvements here and we have other things going on um let me do this too. I'm going to go and show you this other spot that I thought was really nifty and might be interesting to build on. So let me get over there real quick and then we'll get into what today's episode is going to be. So you guys hold on. Okay, welcome back. I'm in my map and as you can see here, this looks like a branch or a tree or something. And this is what I'm talking about here. Uh, this thing is humongous. There is a crap load of sap around it. I came back with like 50 or 60 just coming here without tapping the clumps. Um, there's mites on this thing, which is great because we need mite tufts for lots of things to crap with. But if you build up a defensive structure here, I wonder if like like the ants and whatever else might come for you during like um, the the raids or whatnot. If, if they'll if they would you know be able to get up here. Look at all the sap over here. There's sap along the sides. We have a resident um, wolf spider over that way, and these mites are like inside of it, which is pretty funny. There's some mites down there. I'm not worried about them. But then over here, is this the one I want to? Yeah, look at this. This is amazing. I hope I don't fall down. Please don't fall down. Please don't fall down. We're going to go right to this one. Please, mouse, don't get all janky on me. You've been getting janky lately. We don't want that. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. There's the backyard, y'all. Is that not cool? There's the paint cans. You can see this uh, actual electrical service coming into the building. Bush is over there. It's like a swamp. Marshy area type thing. And there, I think, is the battle toad. I'm going to move to the side. The, the depth of field kind of clears up some. That looks like the battle toad figurine we've seen in the, the trailer. Um, oh, that's over there. There's roses over there. There's a rake. There's the lasers, obviously. And if you look at it now from this height in proportion to the building, they really need to mow the lawn and clean it up because this back the backyard is just trash. And there's like a shed back over here. There's a neighbor's house. There's like buildings like for downtown. There's is it a that's either a balloon or a water tower thing. Um, that's just so cool. It is super cool. I think this is this is I love it. I love it. That's all I can say. All right, but I wanted to show you that I thought it was really nifty, and you can't build on these areas. Not up here. There you go. Right there. You can build. So, like, if you're getting attacked all the time, if you don't mind bringing mats up, you, you could you could actually get up here and build. Like, the mites don't come up here either. So you could even build, like, a, a freaking sky base. Wouldn't that be awesome? It's not really a sky base because it's, it's like, really low. It's not really even that high. It's about porch level. So a porch base? I don't know. Um, and then also another good thing you do is you can see the tufts of the dandelions if you look around at one of these spots so it kind of get lets you zero in when you need uh, weed stems I, i'm doing that on top of my house so like in a local type of area that's how i got so much and it respawns i don't know if i didn't know if i said this in a previous video but the the weed um the dandelions do respawn just don't break the stems in the bottom the the the, the little 
chute that's left after you chop it down. So, anyway, I gotta get back to base. We got stuff to do. We'll be right back. Okay, we're back at base. And, uh... Uh, one thing I've learned in the stream is that this ends up being kind of tower defense-ish. The thing I, s I said about sp well, spoiled meat was the thing that was get getting ants coming to my house. And the stream, we've gotten a little bit further in the game with, like, mats and stuff. And they started attacking my, my base. Um, I put the base on the other side of that, that, that the, the thing. The, there's no spider living there, but I put it on the other side of the thing. And, um... It, it, uh, I get, I get attacked with nectar in there, and then also I got rid of the nectar, and it still would attack it. I may end up getting a trap, the spike trap, and put it down. As soon as I put that down, I got attacked by larva. So there is mechanics in the game for, um, like, tower defense almost, base defense. So, it's like, I think it just tracks your technological advancements that you place around your base, and it, it scales the incoming attacks uh, accordingly. So, like, you know, as soon as the, the spike trap is gone, I didn't get any more larva attacks either. So, it, it's pretty crazy how, um, I really like how they have all these little neat things we don't know yet that we're figuring out. Like, I'm figuring out. You guys are playing, probably figuring it out, too. Um, I prefer that over, like, Find, there's someone telling me because the, these games only you know once you know you know I've said this before anyway um, So with that in mind I was thinking like we could utilize this rock for an extension from our base to be able to do some things because there's no real way for anything to get up here and um, We kind of made the jankiness of that one kind of work And I was thinking like where we're at right here would be a great way to run an extension off if we can do it. Let's find out Let's see here is this facing the right way Yeah, this is it so we can come out with this, I think. Because it's letting me place it, you know. Alright, let's put another one there. And then let's switch to the scaffolding. The scaffold. Can we put this one right there? We cannot. Alright, alright. Oh, wait, wait. It gave me some blue here. Oh, wait. Is that the side? Yeah, we can do the side there. So can we put this one like this? And then put this one here? Oh, we need to get rid of the grasses that are in here, probably. Yeah, so I could probably fill this thing in. I have enough weed stems. We've been I've been farming for this very moment, actually. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and fill this in and see what happens and uh, how it works out. And um, I guess I'll be right back. You guys hold on. All right, welcome back. And it's built. Um, I did an offset so it matched up with the rock below a little bit better because it'll snap halfway over, which I do like. Um, our na new neighbor tried to chase me down, and they're starting to encroach on our property some. I'm getting kind of tired of this. We're going to have to have a stern talk with them soon. But yeah, I don't mind you being here, brother, but if you're going to start working over where I've already been, there's going to be problems, man. There already is, actually. You chased me once. What kind of crap? Is there two there now? <gasps> is there two? <gasps> there's two now. Oh, my God. Is that two, or am I just seeing something in the distance weird? Okay. Okay, it's just one. Okay, I was about to say. I was about to say he started inviting friends over too. I mean, I don't mind if you have guests and stuff, but you start like getting real crazy with stuff, man. Yeah, it's just a one. Okay, cool. Yeah, uh, what's up with the webbing? Uh, the spider is silk everywhere. I mean, I guess I can get some from you some time later. Is, did you put anything inside the contraption? Because if you did that, that's rude. Huh, I wonder if we could get it to aggro us and be underneath and shoot through the holes. Huh. Interesting. All right, but we have we have other things we have to accomplish today. Hopefully, without any problems from them. I want to see here. Uh, crunchy time. The dew. <sighs> yeah, I think that look awesome here. Like if we put this up, like maybe the dew catcher, like right up on the edges here, and go back a little bit, like this. And then uh, do some mushroom stuffs, like on the sides or something like that. Maybe just all up on this guy's thing, but just back it up a little bit here. Like here, and then over here. Why do you know like that edge? Oh, cool. I have spoiled meat now, too. Alright, we need weed stems and woven fiber. I have a crap over that, but I have a lot of fiber left on me, too. What do you need? You need woven fiber as well. Quartzite, really? Holy crap. Okay, we're gonna have to go get some more. One thing I've noticed, too, is that it doesn't like quartzite respawns. So unless you find multiple caves and stuff to find it in, uh, which I know there's a second one. Um, 
unless it's really valuable stuff. I don't. I haven't been repaired. I just been crafting a new one because everything else is renewable. You know what I mean? Like with the, with the axes. You know the pebble axes, spraying pebble and woven fiber, easy, easy peasy. Um, but repairing a uh, with quartzite doesn't seem like a thing, especially since we're using it as a building material. Um, oh, this okay. That's that's fine. You you you're, you're allowed there, I guess. Huh. One good thing about having all this fiber to them is that uh, we can make lots of uh, smoothies, smoothies with it. Oh, I'm thirsty. Um, which the smoothie actually gave you drinky drink? Um, I have to be excessively careful now. Which is fine. I'll tell you, the acorn bits are, ser are the real deal, too. They give out some good liquid uh, crunchy time refreshments. Are you coming over here? Oh, you are. Yeah. Let's go over to this side. This is our normal watering hole, too, man. Predator moves in and then bam. We'll have to call Arnold soon if we keep this up. Let's get this here one more time. And one more time to that. And then go back over here out of the way and then we'll eat some of the nuts, the bits. And if you can see, that actually gives a decent amount, like four of them. Filled up all the way. All right, I gotta clean this up. This is, looks nasty, but um, so I do have woven fiber in here. Um, it's in the, it's in this one now, yeah. And we need to bring some weed stems up, too. Let's grab this pile. Yeah, you can see out of all that, we still have a chunk load of weed stems left. Let's go out this door. All right, let's get the dew catcher up first. And dew. There we go. So now we need 12 weed stems, right? Yeah, 12 weed stems. Some acorn tops for them. Let's drop this down here. Well, let's drop down here and drop that in there. Ah! All right, that goes in the hole. That's not facing the right direction, but we'll clean that up later. Um, so now we have that out of the way. So let's put this guy here. And then we need to grab the quartzite, the very valuable quartzite. Oh my god, that's... Yeah, definitely not going to use it for repairs if I don't have to. We need spider silk. And uh, acorn tops. Acorn tops. Did I keep any in this one? Okay, I have a thing upstairs I can put the overflow in where I used to keep the insect parts. Alright, let's go over here. Alright, let's get you done. I just hold the units done. Bam! We got a do catcher! Oh, and now we get those ones, and now we're going to grab the, uh, the, 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 the stems. Now, um, eventually, there's, we're going to make a way to get up there a little bit quicker. Um, but for now, I like this, the safety of the only entrance, literal, like, walking entrance up there is through the house itself. Um, I have no idea how it's going to hold up. I just thought it was a cool idea, and so far, it looks like it'll work. Mushrooms. And one more thing. And see, the thing with the mushrooms, too, we don't necessarily need to eat them, but we can use them for a quick source to make smoothies if we need to, which is healing. And I'm down with that. Like, that, and I think it's a nice little aesthetic thing to go with our little dew catcher. I really don't know how many we really need, but hey, we'll just do two for now. There we go. <laughs> awesome. That actually looks pretty cool. I, I, and I like how it's like kind of like the, the focal point in front of our house. Now, granted, uh, maybe we could. This is what I've been doing to look to see dandelions too, by the way. But as granted, maybe we could build something like a watchtower off the side of that or something. Or maybe at another raised location where it won't get attacked that much. Okay, so I haven't. These door frames, depending on which way you face them. You, it actually has a collision to it. No, I'm, I'm trying to... Well, there we go. Has a collision to it. So you can actually jump on them and get on the roof. And then you can look around and you can see your dandelions. So you have an idea of what your scope is of where you can go to get more stems if you need them. I really like that. And I really like how that's turning out. We need some decoration for it. Don't we have some? Do we have... We need a... We got a flag. Uh, oh, here we go. Plant lights. Sap, sprig, and dry grass. Okay, that's not too bad. Here's the wall sconces. Uh, there's a slime mold sconce. A nice chair. Let's put these out there. Sprig, saps, and dry grass trunk chunks. Let's see here. It should be down here. Let's close that door now. <laughs> it's a false sense of security is better than no security at all, right? <laughs> 
Let's do that. Uh, let's grab you. Um, and then, oh God, I've already, uh, dry, dry grass chunks. That's it. That's it. That's it. Let's trade you out right quick. Um, we're gonna have to make some more storage. That's why I got all those acorns too. But, uh, to get more storage reorganized in here. So let's see this thing here. Can I put them on the corners? I can. And I put you like right here. And then where do you want to attach it? Okay. Oh, you want to get on that part, huh? Okay. Can I put any back? Yes, I can. There's room back here. There. And then one right here. Ooh, Snapple. I need one more sap. Ah! It'd be nice if we could do like little fence railing on this too. Hmm, I have an idea. That would make it hard to walk underneath. Well, we don't have to walk underneath it. Well, maybe we do. I have an idea. That might be kind of cool. Now that I think of that, that might work out. Ooh. Ooh, we might be able to do something snazzy. All right, let's go right here. There we go. Yeah, again, I said this in the stream. This looks like a portal. <laughs> we have the spiderweb portal ready for entrance. Uh, make it so. Um, so what I was thinking, yeah, we have enough space. Huh? Can I do this? Can we get up one more? This is really hard to get the snap. Is that it? That is it. Okay. Oh, it's off by half. Is that the only way to get this to work? Um, I don't like that. What I'm trying to do is put one down below, and then we could use that to snap the walls to, and then we can have like a thicker walkway with like a nice little guard around the side of it. You know what I mean? I think that would look pretty cool. Can we do it from here? Oh, there it was, there it was, there it was. Okay, bam, that's it. So if we do this across the whole end of this. And then we go to the walls. And put them up here. How tall would that look? Because I don't want it to be a full wall length deep. That half wall depth is nice. Let's preview it. Ah, that's too bad. Oh, that would have been kind of cool. I don't like it being that tall. And if I, I don't want it to be too much deeper either. Um, maybe, God, that would be expensive. Wait, wait, wait. Maybe stem walls. We have enough stems. Let's try that out. Like, I have the nice walkway looking thing and do that. <gasps> Is that the winner? All right, let's see what that looks like. I've been hesitant on building with that just because uh, I, I, you know, I haven't gotten to where my dandelion. Oh, that is actually not that bad. Wow. Uh, can I just place these while I'm up here? Yes, you can. And then over here. If anything, it'll look kind of cool. Oh, come on, man. There you go. And then one on the ends. We're going to do it. I'm doing it for you guys. I think I want to leave this open for now because the transition here is going to be too much of a deal to worry about. But this part with the with the floors done right, I think it's going to look okay. Let me put this together. We'll see what it looks like. You guys hold on. All right. Welcome back. And we've got something done. And I waited till nighttime to show you. It's kind of crackly. So I don't know about this, but 
I like it. So let's just let's go to the store. Oh, you can already tell. Huh? Then we have the slime stalk, like lamps on the ends, and then these lamps out. And we have our mushrooms up, and there's dew up here. Oh, let's just let's just go ahead and um scoop it up. There we go. We got that. You know, I was thinking, since we have this here, we could probably do one of the collectors over here and do <laughs> get it. And put it like right here. The collector but the container. And then woven fiber. Whoa, 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 whoa. I just what I, I just poured it out or something. Is it actually let me putting it put it in there? Is that the fun thing? That's kind of crazy. Uh let's go back to let's let's switch off this so I don't actually use it. Okay, so woven fiber, some acorn shells, and a clover leaf. So we actually need a few anyway for later on, but whatever. So I'm an extra one. Alright, clover leaf and acorn shells. And then we can have a way to store excess water. Because I kind of like to have a backup. Did this on stream. I like to have a backup of stuff before I start hitting it. You know, like like for my main source of like nutrition slash drinking and whatnot. So that's, that's, yeah. <laughs> All right, let's get it done. Let's get it done. And we can start getting this thing going. And it'll, I think it looks pretty fantastic. I don't know what you guys think, but I think it looks pretty fantastic. It's a little crackly, like I said. There it is. All right, so then we can take you and deposit. There we go. And then as this clicks more do, we can get it in there. We have mushrooms now. Uh, we've had them before, but now we have mushrooms that grow. We have lighting up. Um, I'll probably turn this actually off during the day. Uh, just because it's so loud. I wish I could leave it on, but it, yeah, it's definitely too loud. But um, how does it look with, with the, the globes over there? Those are not bright enough. They're nice little ambient things, but they're not bright enough. Yeah, man. I'm happy with it. And in the distance, we have a spider like walking around too. And then we have you right here filling it up. So this is actually pretty nice use of the platform, in my opinion. Um, and I like the, the railing on the side, man. That looks really good. How does that look from the outside? This is when we die, right? Wait, oh, I did a hang time thing. Oh, it's pretty nice. I didn't put any railing around that because the, 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 again, that half wall there is wouldn't really work. That's so nice. We need to do something to make it connect a little better here, but this end of it. And I like the grass bottom. It gives it a contrast. Nice. Oh, that worked out so good. Considering this game, I'm really happy. We have our, look how this, all the stems I've got left. We, we never ran out of stems or grass doing it. So at least I gathered enough, I guess, for the episode. I have to do more gathering, I guess, for the next one. But there we go. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below because that is the time we've got for today. Hopefully, you guys are like what you see. If you like what you see, don't forget to slam the like button. It does help me a lot. I really do appreciate it. And as always, thank you so very much. And you all have a good night. <laughs>